man, you and your dumb hobbies. Wax rubbing. Who makes wax rubbing? I do, because I'm interested in things. Let's go down to the beach. We finally get to visit Brad and Agatha, and all you want to do is rub gravestones all day. It's cool. See, Jerry? It's a death's head. An old, pure and simple. Creepy, huh? Right. Let's go to the beach. Hey, check out the name. Harrison Sadler. Sadler? I know. Look, he died in 1642. One of the first guys to come to America, and he's got our last name. Oh. Check out the epitaph. Though his bones are but dust, his spirit lives on forever. Terry, don't you want to go to the beach? I love it that everything around here is so old. one ever. You've got to be pretty demented if you think that was funny. We've been watching you guys. We could see you this morning heading out for the graveyard, so we thought we'd give you a little scare. Little scare? Come on, Terry, let's go. Hey, we're sorry. We are. We're really sorry. It was just a joke. A pretty complicated joke. I guess it was. My name's Sam Sadler. This is my sister, Louisa. A Sadler? That's our last name. Really? Yeah. I'm Terry Sadler, and this is my brother, Jerry. We're staying with Brad and Agatha, our fourth cousins, twice remodeled. Removed, Jerry. Twice removed. Whatever that means. It means they're distant relatives. They're Sadlers, too. There's lots of Sadlers around here. <laughs> no kidding. Even dead ones. Harrison Sadler is dead, but he still walks the night. They're just trying to scare us again. Nice try. Oh, come on. You don't really believe in ghosts, do you? If you go near the cave down at the beach, you will too. That's enough, Sam. The cave? Come on, we need to go. We'll see you around. Hey, it's a good Jerry a little more of that. Oh, that. I sure will, Brad. Yeah. Everything tastes so much better cooked on that old wood burner. They brought in the power, but we haven't bothered hooking it up. <laughs> um, I don't think I could eat all this. Really? Well, your parents didn't say you were such little eaters. Oh, but it's good. It's really good. Oh, it's so nice having young folk around the place that appreciate our way of life. So nice your folks brought you up here to be with your own cousins. Sure is better than spending the summer in a sweaty apartment. <laughs> and Dad told us all kinds of stories about being here when he was a kid. We always wanted to meet you guys in person. Well, your dad always cared about keeping the family together, always made the effort. We met some other Sadlers today. Kids. A Sam and Louisa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice kids. Are they our relatives, too? Could be. Very, very distant, if they are. They went on about some, some ghost in a cave. <laughs> Never heard of it. Well, I got some reading to do. Oh, I'll help. Do something like this. 
I guess if you're going to be around here, you should know. It wasn't an animal that picked those bones clean. It was the ghost. The ghost of Harrison Sadler. Oh, come on. It killed and ate it because dogs can tell if someone's a ghost. Dogs always bark to warn about ghosts. Oh, give me a break. Let's go. Oh, wait a second. Have you ever seen it? Do you see that opening in those rocks? The ghost lives up there. Some people say for over 300 years. Have you ever seen him? No one has. If you've never seen him, how do you know he's up there? We've seen the skeletons. And the flickering light in the mouth of the cave. It's probably just some guy with a flashlight. <gasps> what? You saw the light, didn't you? I I'm not sure. This is just another one of your dumb jokes, isn't it? Think what you want. Come on, Louisa. I told you they were not believers. Some nice beef stew. Um, I can eat more than that, Agatha. I just don't know how to feed you, kids. First of all, you're not hungry. Now you are. So what did you kids do today? We saw those Sadler kids again. They said something about a ghost who lives in this cave. They said he kills and eats dogs and makes his leg go off and on. Yeah, Jerry thinks he saw a ghost. I did not. I didn't see a ghost, just a light. Uh, you, you ever hear of Aurora Borealis, Jerry? Uh, yeah. It happens certain times of the year or something. Electric gets in the air and the whole sky lights up in streamers. Oh, well, it was the middle of the day and Just then... stay clear of Beach's Caves, you hear me? I don't want you kids coming home with any broken bones. Want to check out that cave? Are you nuts? It's the middle of the night. I know, but I can't sleep. I keep thinking about that light I saw. Come on, Terry. Where's your sense of adventure? I don't know. Where's your sense of night and day? Did you hear that? Yeah. You think the ghosts got it? I don't believe in ghosts. Well, neither do I. But you know something's going on. Come on, you saw Brad and Agatha. There's something about that cave that they're hiding. Don't you want to find out? Yeah, but I don't know if we should. Oh, come on. I'm kind of scared. Me too. That's why it's fun. Be careful. Jerry, what if there really is a ghost? Nah, it's something else. It's got to be. Look, that's not Aurora Boring Alice. Aurora Borealis. Whatever. That's not it. Come on. Did you see that? Yes. Oh, man. This is amazing. It's taking us somewhere. Listen. Did you hear that? Both in C. 
serious trouble. It's dangerous to get involved with ghosts. We didn't mean any harm. No, you're trying to trap me, aren't you? Admit it. We were just looking around, honest. Silence! You think I'm a ghost, don't you? I'm not a ghost. My name is Harrison Sadler. I journeyed here from England a number of years ago. 350 years ago. I saw your gravestone. An ancestor's not mine. I'm going to tell you a story, and I want you to listen very carefully. In the year 1641, a group of pilgrims sailed from England to begin a new life here, but when they arrived, they faced the most horrible winter imaginable. No proper shelter, not enough food. There was no time to prepare for any of that. So cold, so hungry, their blood froze in their veins. One by one, they perished. Their deaths were so awful, so painful, that some refused to go to their final resting place. And so they lingered on. Like you? I told you. I study ghosts. I'm not a ghost. But your two young friends are. Sam and Louisa? Dead for three centuries. I've studied them. I've seen their evil. You're the ghost! Shut up in this dark old cave! My sanctuary. They know I'm watching. But here, I'm safe. But I dare not leave. No! Sam and Louise are just kids. Kids like us. They're not evil. What are you gonna do? Let you go. Why? Because you won't listen to me. He's gonna eat us, Jerry. Go to the graveyard, to the northeastern corner. You'll find your answer there. To the graveyard! Now! Terry, slow down! I don't know what to believe. Oh man, me neither. Do you think he's a ghost? He said Santa Luisa was a ghost. Uh, but maybe he's lying. Look, we gotta go to the graveyard. I don't want to. We gotta check it out. The northeastern corner? That's what he said, right? <laughs> The ocean's behind us, so it's this way. What was that? I don't know. Let's keep going. Sadler, Samuel Sadler, Louisa and Sam. This is getting weirder all the time. Hey, <gasps> I'm glad you guys are okay. We've been looking for you. What are you doing here? Are you all right? We saw him. Who? The ghost. Oh no. In the cave. He really lives in there. We've been here all our lives and never seen him. Did he see you? Yeah. That's not good. How did you get away? He let us go. He said he's not a ghost. He told us to come here. To look for something. To look for what? Your gravestones. That ghost is clever. Making you think we're the ghosts. And you believe it. You do. I can tell by your faces. If you're not ghosts, then where did these come from? Our ancestors. We just got named after them, that's all. Now we're gonna show you something. This is why we were looking for you. Let me show you what the ghost of Harrison Sadler is planning for you. What is it? You need to see it. We need you to believe us. Believe what? Here it is. See for yourself. Jerry Sadler? Harry Sadler. Our grave? 
these? Freshly placed gravestones. For you and your sister. This is what the ghosts didn't want you to see. What does he want? What do you think? To eat you and bury your bones right here. He saw you, Jerry. He'll come to the cave and find you. No, he won't. Yes, he will. He won't stop till he gets you. Your lives are in danger. So what do you think we should do? Get rid of the ghost. Stop his evil once and for all. How are we supposed to do that? Seal him up in his cave with rocks. Rocks? But he's a ghost. Can he float through that stuff? The legend says the cave is a sanctuary. If something evil gets trapped inside, it can't get out. So that's what you have to do. Trap the ghost. Remember, Jerry? That's what we thought you were trying to do. Trap him. You're right! You have to attack him before he attacks you. But if he's evil, why haven't you done it already? We live here. If we mess up, the ghost won't stop at killing us. He'll haunt our house, our family, get revenge forever. You saw your graves. You want to live, don't you? We'll keep watch. No, you'll come with us. I can't, Jerry. I'm scared. Here, just use it as a lever. Story, yes. We didn't know where you'd gone. Well, I'd say you've had quite the fright. Quite the fright. But it's all over now and best forgotten. Harrison Sauber's dog. Bad dog giving away our little secret like that. Maybe he's not such a bad dog, Brad. Maybe he's quite a good dog. Maybe you're right. a little early for breakfast. Terry, Jerry, why don't you kids go and set the table while Agatha gets busy in the kitchen? Don't say you're not hungry. 